Hello, world. <clears throat> it's me and the one and only Bryce. Come on, cuz. Why you do my real name? Dude, you said it wrong. Well, how you say it? Bryson. Bryson. You said Bryce. What's I think Bryce would be dope. Today, you got your son with you. How's it been today? Three steps to being a dad. What is it? What did you tell us? Patience. Oh, what's the other one? Understanding. Mm -hmm. And presence. Present? Present. Oh, okay. So, so like, Okay, okay. So, <clears throat> you got a young kid that want to learn how to be a father. What are the first things like you just like give them? Financial stability. So, what about the money? Do you think money is important when you have a kid? Yes. How much important? Mm -hmm. I feel like it goes 50 50 with your presence. What would you say? You gotta have you, not even just money, money, but just something to be able to take care of a child. Oh, I had it down. Like, you don't have to be rich. Okay. All right, so up to you. Look, mm -hmm. you in charge of child support. What should child support be for a mother? I, well, I feel like child support should be something that's on. If I'm being honest, put a I, price on it. Huh? Put a price on it. What you mean, like a month? If it was you, yeah, like a month. How much should, like, you know, a month, like a time? Like, like no more than 3000 2000 for sure. Mm -hmm. Me personally, if you're using it for the child. I, I had got put on child support and I was working a nine to five and I was paying $800 What's a month. What's wrong? <laughs> What's wrong? He's smiling. My fault. What'd you no, say? No, 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 no. Yeah. Oh. What's wrong? Why are you so short of breath? Google Gaga. <laughs> Say look, cause I feel like when I was playing child support nine to five, it was pay I was paying like eight hundred every two weeks. But it's just like the more money you make, the more they take. I'm like, do you Wait, feel well, like you that's had a nine to five? You had to pay eight hundred dollars every two weeks. Yeah, for real. Yeah, and I was only making thousand dollars every two weeks too. So that left me about like what four hundred dollars. You for real? Yeah. Damn, that's yeah. death row. And then she put me on child support, and she like she snuck it on me. She was just like, yeah, I want you to come down to courtroom and just talk to them so we can just like have our, you know what I'm saying? Like the split splits. for visitation. Yeah, and then yeah. I got in there and it was like, hand me write that paper. And I was like, damn, like, what's this about? She was just like. Y'all ain't go through mediation or nothing? You just got it scratched Oh, we did, but mm -hmm. she, they did. And then we went through mediation. Uh, her mama, cousin was the person over it. Yeah. Over, wait. What? Over the mediation, she's a she's a court like a judge. You making this up? No, I'm dead ass. For real? Yeah. But she took me off though. God bless. She that, was, that was um. That was a 360 contract. How you feel about 360 Mafia? Was you would they impact your career? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You used to listen to them when you was little. Oh uh, yeah, and they and, I, and we sample a lot of their music now in mm -hmm. today's in today's time. So they played so, a huge role. I done simple. Legends of Memphis, like old school as growing up. Who the three you got? Legends. Old school? Yeah. Growing up? Yeah. Like how old school can we go? Old school like, as in like. It gotta be. Three um, Six Mafia. Three you Six got, Gotti and Dolph. No, old school. Period. Not that. Like old school. Oh, like old, old. You got Three Back. Six. You got Project Pat. But he part of Three Six Mafia, right? Mm mm. Three, Project Pat wasn't part of Three Six Mafia? Mm-mm. Devin, he wasn't? He, no, no. I think he worked with them, though, sometimes, but, nah. Mm-mm. Did y'all want to fuck me up? Yeah, I tried to But 3-6. Three, 3-6 three, Mafia. Project Pat. Pat. Uh, Mr. And Tommy Lee. Mr. He not from Memphis. Yeah. Somebody helped the bird, nigga? Yeah. Somebody, um... Your man right here. You talking about that mystical? Yeah. No, he's not. Oh, no, no. What's the baby talking about? What are you saying? Hmm? Whoa, son. You got shit all on you, man. Come on. When did you realize, like, damn, I'm a daddy? Man. When I got two on, um, I was like, damn. So the first one, you was like, like, okay. And then when you got two, it's two, like. Two, when I seen both of them in the same room, same presence, I said, okay, now I'm, I'm building something. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm, I got a little colleague going on. You gonna keep going? Huh? How many kids you want? I want 10. 
That ain't bad. They yeah. ain't. What, five girls, five boys? They'll be beautiful. They'll be lovely. They'll be what? Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> they, all, they always tell me how I say beautiful. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So do you feel like you a ladies' man, or do you feel like you was like, just normal? I think I'm told to be a ladies' man in a sense. Mm -hmm. Like, I, ain't, I don't wake up and like want to be one. They just plop. Is it yeah. like that in high school? Kind of. Mm -hmm. So uh -huh. you didn't never have to ask them on dates. They was asking you. Yeah, but I go out and ask people too, though. Mm -hmm. For sure. But, uh, can you name a girl that you was thirsty for back in high school? What was her name? Like um, that never gave you no play. Damn. Um, shit. No, nah, I can't say that. <laughs> I had one. Her name was Micah. I just said mine. What about yours? No, it was a girl named Mika that was close. She was real pretty. Why did she mess with you? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think cause I was younger though. Mm -hmm. I was younger. So I did. And the only reason I brought up childhood is yeah. because you know I know some of your friends, and I was like, what is one thing that y'all know about him that he dealt with and that he changed? Yeah. And they said you used to be musty. How did you take care of that? Never for real. Somebody said that about me. Your boy. <laughs> Who? He ain't never. Said they said that. back in high school, and they said probably because you played sports a lot. Cause for real. Yeah. No, you lying. And I don't even believe the first story you told. <laughs> he lied, bro. I don't know I, I was never musty. I was musty one time, probably a few times, but I, I ain't have a trait of being musty. I had my mm -hmm. days, though, mm -hmm. for sure. What? He said, no lie. <laughs> Bunny Marco, prize pick, scene two, take six. Hello world, I want to introduce you to Prize Pick. You download this app, you can pick your favorite players from any sports. Even from Call of Duty, you pick more or less, and what you put in, you will receive. Don't forget to put Funny Marco, you put up 100, you'll get 100. When you, so, <clears throat> I say now, we're going to go into Celebrity Crush. Yeah. If you could, this perfect world, take away, like, everything and just you and this person. Like, I think we'll be perfect together. And just yeah. just really think that we just say the name, we just gonna create, take away everything you got going on now. Yeah. So women, they see this, they can't get mad, but if it was just you yeah. fresh on this earth, who was a perfect person that would make you be like, just put me in my bag. I feel like we would be good because we would create something, touch the world, just a perfect person. That's a good one. Trying to get some of that money on. Huh? <laughs> Trying to get some of that money on. Nah, like, I see Oprah really, that's really good. That's, that's very good. Jada Pickett? Recent pitches, mm -hmm. but like Jada Pickett, like, um, recent pitches made me do this. Mm -hmm. She's still beautiful, but I feel like don't none be like, um, it's not that movie for like Minister Society, Jada Pickett. Um, Jason's lyric, Jada Pickett. I remember that. Remember that. I, I think you and Kiki Palmer would be a dope couple too. Hell no, for real. You yeah. feel that way? Yeah. You think that for real? Yeah. She pretty. But well, I think I don't know. I don't personality. Know. She got a nice personality. She cool. Mm -hmm. For what I say, I don't know, mm -hmm. but. So was Plaz your favorite rapper growing up? Plaz? Yeah. Baby, on me. Like sometimes, some songs on my life, mm -hmm. we gonna throw that Plaz on. Let's not act like Plaz ain't. No, he, yeah. Yeah. He just stopped rapping, so. Yeah, on my life. He's still good at what he's doing. Yeah. He did man for sure. But he wasn't my favorite rapper though. Mm -hmm. But he was like. Yeah. What was a music song that was like, I'm angry, I put this on just to like, grow up. Like, kill yeah, song. No, 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 no. Like, just uh -huh. like. It's like, this is a move, like, if I'm about to go fight, it's a neighborhood fight one-on-one, -on -one, just, just to put me in his own. Like. Some boosted, like, boosie? some real okay. boosted, like, some all right, set it off. And then what's the one where I want to be sad? Like, I just want to be sad. Mm. I put this on the cry. On oh, so many tears, Tupac. Mm. Lord, you cried to that before? Yeah, yeah, for real. How long did you cry? 
<laughs> Come on, cuz what you in a therapist? No, nah, I was one of like the longest cry. Like, did you was you sad when you was crying or you was like, damn, I'm crying? No, nah, like my co ass my cries be quick. Mm-hmm. It gotta be just your mature to sniff and then I'm good. Mm-hmm. And I was just wipe off and go back. So about like 20, 20 seconds. I used to get whoopings. I used to cry like for a long time. To the point you <laughs> Yeah. Oh my mom, I you used to that? get them yeah. too. Yeah. I got whooped, I got whooped with a uh, a phone charger straight out the bath to a Nick with. Damn. <laughs> Did you run away? Mine, cause I damn it thought I was gonna call CPS. I ain't gonna lie. This shit had me hot. He's hungry. This shit had me so hot. I got wood by I got wood with a kitchen spoon before. Mm-hmm. I got wood with this big ass paddle that we used to call sweet tea. Mm-hmm. Motherfucker with brown. Mm-hmm. Then I used, I got wood. And Mom dude's mama, she started hitting the nigga in the chest, one mm-hmm. of them jumps. And then she strangle your ass too some days, you get mad, shake your ass, lick it. Do you, you like feel that? like it's possible back in the day when people was fighting they say it was a tie? Is that possible back then? Like if somebody say the fight was a tie, was yeah. fighting the other tie, what makes a tie? If both of y'all just getting them hoes up. Mm-hmm. If both so of y'all handling never... y'all business. Mm-hmm. Like we don't even care about following. Like you get up and you still handling business after you get up or something. Mm-hmm. You can say, oh, okay. I think fighting the best judgment of who won the fight is who had the most heart, mm-hmm. not a loss. Mm-hmm. What do you I think goes through people's head when they getting jumped? Damn, I'm getting jumped. Two, I can't wait I tell you what you went through my head. What was it? I'm finna shoot the shit out of you. <laughs> what, will you get up? Yeah. But what if you ain't got that? What if you ain't, like, I'm just saying, what if you ain't got nothing on you? I hope, on God, I, I got, got jumped without nothing on me, too. And then what goes to your A, I hope it. What was my thought? Yeah. My last thought, the most thought I could remember about the first time I got jumped is when I seen a nigga walking towards me, finna chime in. With his feet, and I said, I know this nigga ain't got no Tim's on. <laughs> and he did it to you? <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna lie, you wanna know something? Mm-hmm. Right before that man came over there with them Tim's and stomp on me, they started shooting too. So, mm-hmm. like, everybody broke up from over me, mm-hmm. and everybody took off. Mm-hmm. But you? Yeah, I was getting, I was getting jumped and shit, and what was even more fucked up, the people that were with me ran. So, but what, like, if you can speak for the world, the yeah. things that you think people don't like thinking as they get jumped. A, do you feel like they're thinking, I can't wait till it's over? B, I need to get my one on ones. C, it's going down. It's going down? Mm-hmm. Like you, what people think? Yeah. I think all of those, um, their multiple choice section you just gave a nigga, I think all of those are accurate, but it just depends on what type of person you are. So okay. you, you really go 50, 50, 50. And that's what happened to you? What? You was thinking all those. Nah, I thought one. Mm-hmm. On, the, on the first time I was thinking like, um, yeah, I just want this shit to be over. I ain't even want to fight nobody after that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cause I got snook and shit. I got snook. Boom, <clears throat> I don't even know who the fuck hit me. I still to this day don't know who hit me. Do you wake up in the uh, morning? Hmm? You wake up in the, what time you wake up? Really? Yeah. You wake your ass up around like six, seven. Mm-hmm. You get up too? Hmm? What do you think babies be thinking? Like right now, what do you think he think about? Some of it down, though. No. Oh, real. No, I think, think they dream about titties all day. If you can see into the future, what he gonna be when he get older? Shit. Right now, 18, and when he can look at this interview and see if he was right, what would it be? I don't know. I just think he gonna be somebody that smile a lot. Mm-hmm. For sure. That was easy. But I don't know, like, as far as, like, a job. Because mm-hmm. you don't know. He ain't that old enough yet. Now, my mm-hmm. daughter, her ass gonna down to be everything. Like, she just. A firefighter? She'll be everything. Mm-hmm. She says she wanna be a princess. I was trying to tell her that I don't I think there's you, a job like yeah. that. Huh? I wonder where you go to fill out an application for that. To be a princess? Yeah. It's the same shit I was trying to figure out. That's what I was, but I just let her, I didn't want to run on her parade. So I said, okay, let me start preparing for that. 
So I started buying her little pink dresses and shit. Like she thinks she growing up to be a princess. I think it's kind of fucked up. Bro. Who's the favorite rapper that you didn't work with that you feel like that was really good? Like that you was inspired when you was in the studio with him? Like, yeah, this this is legendary. I'm surprised I'm next to him. Um, Wayne for him. And what was you thinking the whole time? Like, I was just thinking like, I just ain't want to say nothing that'll, that'll, um, <laughs> that'll piss him off or something. Mm -hmm. So you was quiet? I want quiet. It's just like I ain't really know him, and um, and when I try to get to like know him or understand him, it's like um, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just had to fill him out for you. Yeah. You know how it is. You gotta fill people out. Exactly. Like now, no shaky or no scary yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah. But just nah, some, some people. That's how it was when I met Nikki. It was like, it's like, damn, I'm happy. Like it's a nervous like. Yeah, cause yeah, you gotta think about this like. Somebody, that was Wayne was like, yeah, he been Pac and Wayne was my was favorite little. rappers growing up. You was like, what, three years old when he started rapping? Probably so, for real. Yeah. Hey, don't do that, cuz. What? Come on. <laughs> See, you you got burp on. <laughs> do what I gotta do? Got to pass back. No, 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 no. Your stomach no. hurts. You got rubber stomach. No, 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 no. Rubber stomach. Hey, look. Look. No. It's the no. stomach. Rubber it's stomach. Like that. Milk. You got rubber stomach. For real? Yeah. It's, it's tight. You got milk in there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he liking this. Okay. 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 It's okay. He almost died. It's okay. It's okay. He can't cry that long. You done? You done? It's okay. It's, it's okay. It's nothing to cry for. I promise. It's okay. Get it all out. It's all right now. What you want some more milk? Come on. Okay, wait. Do we eat Doritos? Come on. I said, do we eat Doritos? Magic. It's like magic. Motherfucker be shit the fuck right up. Some, how you try to feed him some Doritos? Huh? How you try to feed him some Doritos? <laughs> That's dangerous, bro. No, you got to you got crunch the little No, thing. I've choked on Doritos before, so I know damn well he can't eat no Doritos. You got, like, literally, I almost lost one. my life off of Dorito. The purple burrito. I mean, Dorito. <laughs> the what? <laughs> the purple Dorito. I said burrito. <laughs> The purple one, fool. I'm great. It almost took me out. So, what's the first thing that come to mind when you do when you do get a post on the shade room? Like, what's the first thing to be like? What's Damn, the act? How does it? Any I post? Like, I hope they ain't eat me up down there. Yeah. Do you read the comments? Yeah. How do you feel like as reading through the comments? Do you feel like that? I get love you the most? their maturity because, like, I feel like the shade room comments they are they're way more mature than looking at like academics or say cheese mm -hmm. in the comment section if that makes sense mm -hmm. like shout out to all them platforms though mm -hmm. i love them but um the shade room joints like they more mature and like more on speed with like mm -hmm. with my conscience so it's like when they say stuff i'd be like okay they were probably really fucked up if they go against something that i did i'd be like okay maybe they were fucked up mm -hmm. but then sometimes i also gotta know like they only see one side of certain things, so maybe I'm not fucked up. Mm. But I take, I play them by the, I take they, they comments more serious. Mm -hmm. Now, other people, I just be laughing, but, you know what I'm saying? I take So what are the two things serious. that you feel like you wasn't ready for when you became famous? Um, she, the, the, just to, didn't know like, just, I ain't know like, um, rep, how, how important reputation was. Mm -hmm. That's one thing because I was wilding out. Like I was going bad, crazy shit. Mm -hmm. But I grew from it, learned from it. And I'm glad that God is forgiving God. Mm -hmm. Cause a lot of people forgive. He's trying to say something. I told you I rubbed that stomach. Hold on. Rub that John, see what you do. Probably get some honey out of his uh, big boy. I know what you like. You just wanna move around. So this is what I'ma do. I'ma just look, look. Look, I'm gonna send you over there with CJ. Okay? Look. Boy, you got a shit. I think he got a shit. No, he don't. This is what he need. It works for everybody. What's wrong? <laughs> Watch. 
समझो I put this on, especially when you got a side chick and she got like a little baby that's crying. Put this on, throw him in a room. Eat his food. Eat his uh, food. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Take your clothes and give it to your baby. That's that Miss Rachel. For sure. That's all this is to do, yep. You just put this on. Right now. Something about Miss Rachel. Say thank you, Mr. Marco. Thank you, Mr. Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> Say that again. Thank you, Mr. Rachel. I do. Come hey, on, this shit just hypnotized my baby, though. This kind of dangerous. No, bro. it's crazy. I know. See. Oh, shit, you right. like it. It's Miss Rachel. But what you saying? Yeah. Tell him don't swipe with left. On me. Yeah. He got my emotes out his ass. Yeah. Up, for sure. No. And I'm tapping my leg, holding him with my right hand, holding the phone for him with my left, and also donating a part of my brain to talk to him and you. You, you know how the official you, I is. feel like you're very talented because you do a lot. What do you feel like you haven't done that you already done? Um, more more on the acting too. I'm really into that. Mm -hmm. I feel like I could play any role that represent like especially like hurt, depression, anxiety, mm -hmm. fear, anger. I think a lot of a lot of those emotions that some characters have, us as black people, has went through them. So mm -hmm. I really want to take roles and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you see yourself being in stars? Like if you was to be able to, uh, I can hold it for him. Okay. Oh, do you feel like you can be in stars? Like for example, if he used to put you in power, like you can really do yeah, it. You yeah. sit down. Yeah, I can do something for sure. Mm -hmm. For so sure. If Anything we could right now, appreciate for sure. If you could look in the camera and send Fifty a message. Oh. <laughs> Let's get into it. Hello, y'all. It's the boy, Funny Marco, and this is my client, and we're actually sending you a message to get him on the show. We're gonna let him take it from there. Yeah, what you said, but you ain't my client, though, but we'll love a chance to be on the show. I mean, I ain't your client, but we'll love a chance to be on the show, for sure. I talk to Vidi. I can I ask him. I don't know, but we're gonna act like you have it. Cause if it happened, people are gonna be like, oh yeah, it happened cause of my show. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, oh man, what up y'all? What up 50, it's your boy, Funny Marco. I'm here with Nelly Chopper and the fact that he doesn't know you, he want to send you a message about who? getting on the show. Don't know who? 50. Just act like you don't know him for the show. Know 50. Huh? Everybody know 50. I know I'm saying you haven't met him yet. I have All y'all 50, man, look, it's your boy, Funny Marco. I'm here with Nelly Chopper and once you see this, you got a message to get you on the show. What would it be? Uh, I'm down to do it. I'm ready to do it. I'm ready to suit up. Show it to work. I'm gonna get there early, be a lad when to leave. Yeah. Yeah, he don't know who 50 is. 50 is a good man. He's been working in the industry for a long time, an up and coming rapper. Have you ever seen any of his movies? Yes. Or have you heard any of his music? Yeah. You act like you don't know him. What are you talking about? <laughs> I never say, you know, I ain't know 50. So. I know, just act like you don't know him. I'm sorry. Why I gotta act like that, bro? No. Because it's gonna be different. It's gonna be different. Okay. Let me act then. All right. Yeah, this uh, 50. It'll be mm -hmm. good to get him on the show. Uh, it's your boy, NLE Chopper. He's been blowing up, doing a lot, and he wants to step into the acting side. And I'm letting him take it from there. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, man. I'm just really trying to get in there, man. I'm just trying to work. I need the opportunity. I'm trying to feed my kids. You know what I'm saying? So, Make it more sad. Yeah, be like, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm homeless, man. I'm on my head, bro. I'm just really trying to feed my little boy and my little girl. You know what I'm saying? So just give me a chance. Fuck with me, please. You know what I'm My mama love it. I always fucked it up for her. I'm just trying to really just make her happy. Make her proud. Please. Yeah, and as you see, 50, that was very important. We appreciate you for tapping in. And yeah, that man. Good. That was good. For sure. I just acted right here, low key. That was good. Do your, do your son know what Bob check mean? Bob check? Yeah. No. Oh. He's on like a few months. I don't really, I don't think he knows. I'm Bob check right now. Hmm? 
Pajal, Pajalish Nitta. Why is everybody moving? Oh man, thank y'all for tuning in at the vibe check, man. You just wanted to talk to him. How did you feel about the vibe check? How, what emotions did you go through? What you talking about? The vibe what check. What you talking about? What you did? It? Yeah. Confusion. I was very confused, very much confused. I didn't know what was going on. Oh, right? not at the vibe check. We gonna get. We gonna dab up. Where she at? Makeup lady. She in here? Oh, I might start dabbing up. At the vibe check, I had to. Go. You gotta get ready out there, Bob Check. Mom, I just start Don't sweating. Sweat. Am I sweating? No. You're pretty lady, yeah. fool. How long you been doing makeup? Since college. Oh, that's good. I thought she How you feel about this, Jenna? I thought your face was clearing up because it, it was using something. I am. My face is clearing so up. So it was because it was you had on makeup? Maybe no, that's, that's not. That's it. Maybelline. They say, it, no. You gotta get your eyeball too? Yes. Everything has yeah. to go into the middle. My oil put your ass up. She's so dope. What you doing for Christmas? Sleep. Yo, makeup, oh. probably. Makeup. <laughs> you right. can do mine, you ain't touch me up. <laughs> I'll see you back there. She's going crazy. You can bring Island up here. We, gonna, we thought we have like a, a daddy episode real quick. She's going to probably ask for your son number. Hey, everybody. This is Island. This is the first time on the show. Oh, my God. Yeah. Got it's the first time on the show. You. It's so uh, cute. Look what's his name? Hey. The little NLE. Chosen. Say hey. Who chosen? Look. Say Island. hey. Oh, he stuck up. He's so pretty. Why are you stuck up? He said, he Why used to like, Shit, my bird. <laughs> Why are you even stuck up? It's a beautiful lady right here. Yes, she is. She's so adorable. She's so bad. You want to ask him what's his phone number? Chosen. Chosen. He did. He mad. Huh? He stuck up. You finna eat my hand? What's his credit score? Bro. He white, cuz that's young good as hell. Already he came out the womb with like What's your 700? credit score? 800. What's your credit score? Do you really care about credit right now? Like, when did you realize credit was important? Did you like. I don't want you credit. It's important. Why he so stuck up? He was really drew into this. Told you she's a, it's a trance. No, she like Miss Rachel. So. He tired though. What time is it? It's on time. He go to sleep. Eight forty-three. Yeah, he tired. Do what it is. What was the most expensive thing that you bought? And he was like, "Damn, I shouldn't have bought that." Nothing. If I bought it, I don't really regret. I regret. I regret when I'm finna buy it, but then when I get it, I'm like. So it's nothing that you would never bought from a car. I've I felt like I've never made a dumb purchase on the real. I feel mm -hmm. like if I if I bought something that was expensive. It was to really just to 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 thank myself for how hard I worked. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't never I ain't never had no bullshit purchase. Mm -hmm. what, what advice do you give like an up and coming artist that's coming up? Keep God first, prayer most that's important it. part. Mm -hmm. You can't keep God first and He don't know your intentions of why you want all that power. He will give it to you just so you can show, just so He mm -hmm. can show you that it don't really. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She ain't really need it in the first place. That would hurt people the worst. Mm -hmm. Or he might just won't give it to you. Mm -hmm. But once I set my attentions with him, um, he got me head on. He keep giving. So what about physical? What is some stuff that you learn that you can give away from my experience? Like up somebody up and coming. Like I didn't know this, but now that I know, I share it with y'all. Um, I feel like a lot of people feel like um, once you sign to a label, it's like you made it. It's just mm -hmm. like getting drafted. <laughs> You mm -hmm. still gotta put the work in. You gotta go even harder than what you was to get there. Yeah. Don't think just because you on the label that that on um, shit gonna, gonna do help you. They only really just bring you more money and give mm -hmm. you better looks for marketing. Mm -hmm. But you still gotta be able to produce because there's a hundred other people on that label. So what about staying independent or a label? Which one? When people go back and forth, what do you advise? I mean, you can you can you can sign to a label and still have a deal that make you feel like you're independent. Mm -hmm. See me, I signed a partnership. 
I ain't signed to nobody. It's 50 50 with my label and Warner Records. Mm -hmm. On my masters, creative control. Got a bag when I signed it. Mm -hmm. right. So you feel like that's what they should go with? with uh, being but you gotta have leverage. You can't do it if you ain't, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't, if you ain't produced enough shit to say, say mm -hmm. that. Your, your work gotta represent it too. Mm -hmm. What's up? What's up? Yeah, she be waking up at night and then in the morning and I gotta wake up too. Happy? Yeah. Happy? Happy? She don't really talk much. They said it's a happy she is smile. Uh, My baby over here stressing out. Yeah, he's stuck up. Yeah. <laughs> See? She talking. asked you for your number. You didn't even say nothing. Hey, hey, Tivo. Can you come put him in the um in the in the um in the thing and just tuck him in and give him some milk cause he tired. It's okay, fat boy. What do you think? <laughs> now you wanna smile. You just want it your way. You so smart. Here. Hey little man. Look. Hey Tebow, can you come get her? He was and nervous. Put her he in the right. shower. And then give her a little milk, cause she's probably tired. He was nervous. <laughs> he was just nervous. Yo, she she been here before. She's so alert, and I feel like she understands everything that's going on. She was here before, and she I think look she how was. Look she looking. A lion. Look at her. Look, she's so sad cause she had to get away from you. You a good dude. Nah, it's beautiful. It's free to be a daddy. Yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah. To be Wait. a father, it costs. Hey. Yeah. But it's free to be one. Yeah. But it costs. Yeah. Yeah. On me, that's that's the perfect. Yeah, because you Martin was, Luther with that one. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, I remember when I had my when I had my <coughs> my, my daughter. <coughs> it was either I get the Jordans or she get them. Yeah. And I had to make a big like it really showed me who I was deep down inside and that made me realize I was a man. Who got them? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you got the shoes? Yeah. <laughs> That's why I realized I'm a man. <laughs> you funny, yeah, okay. So you get the shoes? Yeah, that let me know I'm running shit. <laughs> <laughs> Look like that, bro, yeah. Yeah, and dude, I was like, yeah, I'm that nigga. Yeah. Cause you flex on your child? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we use the word flex. It was just this like, a, you flex on your child. She you didn't know what was going on. She was only seven. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Seven who? Seven years. Years old. She knew what exactly the fuck was going on. No, there. she did. Yes, she did. What did, what did, did you? She, did she ask you for some shoes? And you uh, got your old self shoes and not her? She didn't know about Jordans. That's not I didn't want to get her into that brand stuff. That's lame. I was only doing it for the girls. Hmm. Yeah, no. that's fair. That happens a lot. What is some stuff that you feel like people don't know about you that you want them to know? I just wrote a children book. Mm -hmm. I love kids. Like, I love to invest in, like, helping kids mm -hmm. grow and stuff. So, you know, I tap in with a lot of schools, do reading challenges with the kids and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I just I wrote a children book, and uh, it's supposed to drop this year. Mm -hmm. That's dope. So what age group? Um, uh, like from K through five, fifth grade for sure. Mm -hmm. Like K through fifth grade. That's mm -hmm. dope. And then what's the book about? Uh, it's about a cricket that won't stop. I don't want to tell nobody because it ain't not yet. But the kids ain't watching it. No, I just don't want nobody to take my idea. But it's already written, right? It's already written, but I don't know how quick it's gonna come out. Mm -hmm. I don't want nobody doing. So it's the like cricket that what? It's a creek. It's a good. <laughs> I would just made me start back talking about it for real. Yeah, but it sounds like that caliber of the book. No, like, it don't. It I does. didn't even tell you how the book goes. But it sounds like a cricket that started off that makes a lot of noise and somebody's complaining about it. And then when it actually stopped, it was actually meant to make a noise and the cricket family got hurt. What the fuck? That's exactly how my book is. That's what it sounds like. It's so easy. Shut the fuck up. That's me. And it's like the cricket, it's like it's like the wolf that cried wolf, like that basically. It's a spin-off of it. Because people complain about crickets talking too much and doing a lot of noise, but it's actually a good thing that they do it to let people know that they're alert. But once you stop 
yo shine, like your yo, yo story stops. So we're trying to teach the kids to always keep going no matter what. That made me mad. But you right. Yeah. Look, uh, damn, my story is that easy. I need to rework that. Whole I mean, day. it's for you kids, just, right? Yeah. That's why it's so easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's supposed to be like that, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. What are the uh, three activities that you're into that people don't know? Shit. <laughs> I'm a born star, for real. You say you're born a star? Yeah, I was born to be a star. Yeah. Um, what else? Um, you said born to be a star, right? Yeah. Something with born star. Yeah. That jump. Um, the first one I just named. The second one is. But you said three activities, right? Yeah, that you do. Like basketball, is it something you really. Um, basketball. It's just being a parent. Mm hmm. Yeah. Hey, I put the parent first though, and then mm. the other two times. So I what? Said, are, oh, like, let's in this debate. So when it comes to single parent, yeah. Some people, I thought, as a single parent means that you're not, you're not in a relationship. That's what I thought single parent means. And then some people say no. Single parent means that the other partner is not involved. So which one does it actually mean? It could be both. On the real, that's a good question. But they said it's only that one. Like one it's only said, what, which one? Like I'm the other parent's not involved. So if somebody said I'm a single parent, the dad or mom's not in the life. But then it's like you're single because you're not in a relationship. So they make you a single parent because y'all y'all stand by each by yourself. Nah, so single parent more so did lean towards this saying but it can also go the other way too. But it lean when, when women say I'm a single parent, it's usually because the dad's not around. Mm -hmm. Rather they pushed him away or he left on his own. Mm -hmm. That's what it means, usually. Mm -hmm. On me. I'll be trying to figure it out. Hey, you'll hear like the perfect amount of nappy food. Like it's just perfect. Mm -hmm. It's like an artistic type of nappy. Yeah, I've been working on it for a long time. Yeah, it's on live in hell. How long have you been trying to be Nelly? <laughs> what? How long have I been trying to be Nelly? <laughs> Cause that was funny in here, low key. I've never, I never, I never, I don't know. I did it with the sample. Nah. I sampled Nelly's it. a good person to look up to. Yeah, hey, I love Nelly. Yeah, so, and that's why you're trying to be him. You're doing a good job. Bruh. Favorite comedians, top four. Cat Williams, um, Corey Holcomb, um, people, people I always see this man get a lot of hate. Kevin Hart, girl. I feel like Kevin Hart is, is funny. Hmm. A lot of people be trying to play with that man. That man is funny, bro. And he made a lot of y'all laugh. So you gotta put Kevin in there. Last but not least, gotta do Richard Pryor, fool, because he the reason why a lot of mm. these niggas say the shit that they say today. Mike Epps or Cat Williams? Cat. Mm -hmm. For sure. I fuck with Mike Epps, though. Mm -hmm. yeah, I like Mike Epps better in movies than stand-up. Mm -hmm. Cat Williams, I like him in stand-up, and I appreciate the movies he was in. Mm -hmm. How did you feel about the Cat Williams interview when they blew up? Mm, I didn't watch all of it. I watched a few clips. Mm -hmm. I thought he was just funny, like funny and truthful. Mm -hmm. oh, my, my, my. So do you feel like with being in the industry, some things that you do get on camera and talk about or some stuff, it's like, just like try to keep it private. Like- Talking about what he said? Just, yeah, just any, cause he nah, been in the industry, he, in your field. Anybody that's in their field, sometimes it's okay to talk about it or sometimes just keep it. I mean, if he feel like he wanted to talk about it and he feel like he would do a disservice to not mm -hmm. only himself, but God, mm -hmm. then he can talk about whatever the fuck you want to talk about. Mm -hmm. If he feel like what he had to be said, what he had to say was something that God told him to speak on, mm -hmm. then that's different from I feel like I listen to anyone, even if I don't want to hear it, I respect it because you doing it. You ain't doing it just to be heard. I feel like he did it because he felt like, um, it was something that he had to really say. Mm -hmm. he, he said it was a eight. How long was the interview? No, like what? It was two hours, hour, three hours. It was hours, hours girl. He, yeah. he, he, was, he walked in there with a plan and spoke on some shit. The yeah. whole two hours, girl. Top R&B three artists. 
Top R&B. Today. Uh, can we put R. Kelly in there? Despite yeah. what he did. Just music. We said music. Yeah, music. music. Yeah. Right. This shit was fucked up though. Like I ain't gonna yeah. lie. It's extremely fucked up. But as far as judging his music catalog, mm. R. B. Cause you gotta go him number one. Mm-hmm. Then um, uh, you gotta go with C. B. Chris Brown. Yeah. Then um. Would you would you claim Michael Jackson as an R and B R B artist or a pop artist? You really can't. I almost just said R and B though. Like I almost just said I almost just put him in there. But he mm. do got some R and B. Like I feel like pop. P Y T for the young thing. That's a that's a that's an R and B song. That's like a pop song. I want to love you. P Y T for the young yeah, thing. Yeah, but the music it was like. R and B stuff that you probably can't make love to. And I'll take you there. You can't make love to that song. Man singing on there, bro. That's a that's an R and B pop song. No, it's, it could go both ways, but it's no, still but it's, it's still R and B. If it's pop, it's R and B pop. It's an R and B song. But what is pop? I don't know, but I know that R and B is rhythm and blues. Yeah, and that's the like song. Pop is definitely and... that song. If if it, if we don't know the name of pop, do you feel that for real? Yeah, R and B. I'm gonna like, tell you pop. Super bass, that's a super bass. What's this on? The yeah. talking about Lady, Lady Gaga. Oh, Lady Gaga. Poke your face. Hope and pain. That's pop. I want to love you. P.Y.T. for the young day. You love me. Would Shot of Flow be pop? Yeah. And I'll take Would Shot of, would shot of Flow be pop? No, sir. Why you keep making so many of them? Because. I just, my fans be really wanting it from mm-hmm. me. And I feel like it documented a certain period of growth. I feel like, I feel like you should always come back to what people um, know you from. Know you from. You should always so tap awesome. in with your roots just to resonate with like, <laughs> hey, this is how you view me then. But this, this is my growth. So what, my it's auntie, a a, my auntie a thief. So you saying, cause she used to be a thief and she's a booster. She used to keep doing it. Cause that's how people view her. No, I'm talking about musically. No, but you just said as no, people. No, I'm, I'm saying, saying you said, but you just said people, if you did, they define you and see you as that character, it's okay to stay in that character. No, bro, I'm talking about for music. You asked me about something musically. Mm-hmm. Music, say it with me. Musically. Say music. Music. Musically, you speaking on something musically, so you can't really say that for real. Mm-hmm. If we being a hundred percent honest, if you could put hip hop like different states and like number one being a like a big impact states like California, let's say like they big on hip hop, then Memphis, Atlanta, how what would it be top four? Like top four best states that make music. Yeah, like yeah, like, yeah. Like California, LA. You gotta go Georgia. Number one, I'm saying number one, Atlanta. Yeah. Okay. I go Georgia. Um. Hold on, hold on. We talking about current or all time? It's all time. Oh, you gotta go LA. LA. You gotta go LA. West Coast, LA is first. Got to Georgia. Atlanta second. You got no, no. You gotta go LA, New York, then Georgia. Okay. All right. And then, if you can do top five, you got LA, LA Atlanta New culture. York. No, New York. New York, Georgia, Memphis, because we 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 there for sure, but we coming. And then Yeah, I feel like Louisiana got a big pop up. Like they don't. Mm. They got Boosie. Yeah, Boosie. Kevin Gates. They go Master P. You don't feel like Louisiana. Hold on, hold on. Louisiana and Memphis can really go tit for tat. No, we, that's can go tit for tat. So the On OGs, real? the top OGs, like your verses, you feel like? I think Memphis, I think it can go 50-50 for sure. With Louisiana, mm-hmm. for sure. Hold up now, we probably got a little bit more than Louisiana because new age rappers, we got more, we, hell yeah, we got more new age rappers uh, out. They can go, they Louisiana, ain't got enough new got, age rappers that can the keep us with us. They got, we talking about new age, you just talking about Lil Wayne. I, yeah, they got, yeah, they do. Cash Money. You Dallas. do. They do. YB. 
yeah. Fredo. Yeah, they got. Who else you got? They got Kevin Gates. Gates. Boosie. Boosie. They got a lot. Mm-hmm. Got Project. Three Six. Guy. Dolph. Well, Devin, he, who you got? What's the old school name too? Like we forget, legend. Who? Skinny Pimp. Skinny Pimp. Fraser Boy. Lil White. Who? Lil White. I don't know who that is. I know old girl, yeah. the lady. What's the girl that was there? Nah, I ain't gonna lie, fool. I think I think Louisiana might down there got us beat a little bit on the. You rear. think so? Yeah. I'm always say Memphis, but yeah, we got yeah, we, we gonna say Memphis, but on the board. Louis, yeah, Louisiana well, got us because so Wayne, just Wayne yeah, alone. Just Wayne, yeah, yeah. On my mama, like just Wayne alone. Mm-hmm. It kind of just wipe out Memphis. I ain't gonna, I'm gonna be a hundred. I can't, I cannot lie to you. So we go L.A., New York, L.A. Where you got in there? Like Tupac. Pac, he from New York, but I, we still count him in L.A. Though I count mm-hmm. him as L.A. I ain't gonna count. He from New York, but. Mm-hmm. Pac is LA. He is West Coast. He contributed more to the West Coast sound than he did to New York. Mm-hmm. We been honest. So we gotta go LA, New York, Georgia, Louisiana. And do you want me to be a hundred? Oh uh, yeah. Nah, there's a country. Toronto. Toronto. Drake. He, the whole thing over the board. Drake. By mm-hmm. himself. What's the state that you feel like they got like a lot of artists that slip on? You got Houston. Do you feel like oh you left Houston out? That's crazy. Paul Wall, Slim Thug, Jim Jones. They had a run. They got <laughs> Pimp C. Yeah, my John. That Houston is a big, like, is a big part. I think but you time out, to, though. Time out, though, I bro. They, 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 not, they not competing with Houston. They got a lot of soldier boys. They music. Chopped and skewed. Chopped and skewed. Chopped and skewed. He not from Houston. Chopped and skewed music. <laughs> soldier boy not from Houston. Oh. Can you understand it? That yeah. nigga from Mississippi. Yeah, that's close. But chopped and skewed. Chopped and screwed. Yeah, same stuff. No, girl. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Because Georgia, just... on my mama, you can't. What, what you going to take off? What you going to take off? If you put I'm Houston there, what you going to take off? You. Respect to Houston. We love Houston. Houston contributed a lot to music. Yeah, I know. But bro. we I do have like to they, be honest here. They got to be number one. Houston? Yes. Over LA? Don't you think so? Houston got a lot of people. Dr. Dre, Park, Snoop. Houston has Pimp C. You can't put you Houston got over LA. LA really responsible for Pimp how C, the law C. was laid down with rap. You got easy. LA and New York are responsible for really a lot of rap music and how we even yeah. do music today. But Influence for one. Houston came and started their own trend. They did, but I'm saying you gonna knock you gonna knock Georgia off. You got Lil Baby, Future. I want to knock him off. You Lil got the Migos. I, you said all them names. You didn't even mention Lil John. He's not. I'm talking about you can. You, we two different generations though. Yeah. You you gonna go old first? I'm gonna go new first. What do you mean by that? We the same age? Because no, we not good. How old are you? Twenty one. Okay. How old are you? About thirty. You know what I'm saying? You gonna go to Lil John? And I and I'm familiar with Lil John music. Gucci, old oh, Gucci. I'm familiar with all that. Gucci from Atlanta. Ti, yeah. Um. Fucking shout it low, all in there, everybody. Yeah. Outcast. Luda. All right, well, LA gonna go over Atlanta, probably. Yes. It's, long. it's LA, New York, Georgia. So, what do you think? Because you see, I you just from your opinion, why do you feel like Biggie was so big? What, physically or musically? Uh, Musically. Oh, shit. Because I'm, you want me to be 100? Yeah. Do you want me to be 100% honest with you? Yeah. He had a flow that was that was just in the pocket that nobody heard before. But I'm tell you something. And there's another person, if we separate the person from the music, the way that Diddy orchestrated the type of um beats that Biggie mm-hmm. will hop on. Mm-hmm. That's that was key. Beat selection is always key. Mm-hmm. To put some 
in his face that he would never think about. But he just do what he do on that motherfucker and you make it a bop, a real bop. On the real, y'all can follow me for this, but I don't know how big Biggie would have been if um if he didn't have Puffy to put oh, yeah. certain type of like samples or certain like the juices and all those type of songs. Mm-hmm. I wonder where he would have been like if he didn't have a person to to be around to articulate a certain type of beat to present a person. What do you feel like what made Tupac? My pop was yeah, he was just him. Mm-hmm. You think personality, music? Everything just kind of all around her person. It's like, she's like all, all the way across the board. Him as a person, how he handled himself, carried himself mm-hmm. before he even music. And then also the sentimental meanness, um, the sentimental songs he made mm-hmm. last is, is what really kept his legacy strong. The drum mm-hmm. moments, keep your head up. Brenda got a baby, so many tears. Mm-hmm. Staring through What do you think Brenda career. doing now? Um, Brandon probably did. Oh, yeah. probably. Shit. somewhere out there. She probably had another baby. Oh, he could have made a part two, but they got another did. baby. <laughs> hope she, hope she ain't do what she did with the first one. Oh yeah. That would be a tragedy. You a repeat offender to her kid, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I trip. All they gotta do is take out. Do what? Nah, I don't know. I gotta do it what? No, they gotta take garbage cans outside the hood. Cause you put the baby in there, in there just to, to relax. It's, they shouldn't have them in the hood. And then she wouldn't handle it. She would have kept it. Like, if they took the trash cans out the hood? Man, maybe that is stupid. What you feel like if they took the trash cans out the hood, Brenda would have never did what she did the first time with the baby? No. Cause she, she probably did something worse, dumbass. No, she wouldn't. Have. She was <laughs> yeah, just up the house, but then the maintenance man would have came and be like, "Oh, Brenda, gone, but the baby here." So that would have been better and safe. Brenda just got to get her shit together. For sure. Yeah. Her name Brenda. Do you know how to swim? Yeah, hey, yeah, I can swim. Mm-hmm. On me, I swim. Mhm. Mhm. What's the first thing you do after you get knocked out when you wake up? Shit, I don't know. You know. No, the fuck I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. What did you do? <laughs> I've never been knocked out. But if you was to get knocked out, what do you think the first thing you should do? When you wake up? Yeah. Shit, I hope it ain't no video of it. Right. Do you That's check your pockets first, first or do you get up? I don't know. Should get up? Mm-hmm. You tell me like knocked out cold for a little minute? Yeah. I went looking for help. I think I want to ask what the fuck happened and how did we even get here? Mm-hmm. For real? That's what I'ma ask. Where did he go to? Mm. Cause or she. Just let her go out by her day if she did that. Yeah. Yeah. But do you check your pockets? Oh uh, yeah, you gotta check like everything. You know, key mm. with the keys to the car at, with my mm. phone. Yeah, you gotta do that type of measure. Cause you're mm. just coming back from a place where You was resting. Mm, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah resting. Just a little hibernation. I remember the first time I got knocked out. Uh, it was the time where they said, let him hit you first. And then yeah, I let him hit me first. And I was like, it. So you didn't even get to fight him? No, nah, I let him hit me. Because that was back then. I was like, if you let him hit you first, then they started the fight. So they going to get in trouble. Yeah, so you so you wanted him to hit you first. So y'all, That's so how it used to be. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I know. I used to do the same shit. I let him hit me first. And that was it. Yeah. Yeah. But but he hit you and he knocked you out. I went to sleep. I was already sleepy before we started fighting. <laughs> so they didn't count. He was already sleepy. Yeah. That's probably why he got knocked out. I was yeah, already, already tired. tired. Yeah. That's <laughs> what I told him. I was like, come back and do it again. <laughs> Guess what he did? He pulled up. <laughs> what you do? Now I didn't pull up, nigga. Oh. Uh, yeah. yeah. I was he watching. Alone. He got to leave his ass alone. Yeah. Because he knows something you probably don't. His name was Rodney. Rodney, he sound like a nigga that'll do it too. Yeah. I mean, you gotta watch them Rodney's for Yeah. Rodney on me. And then I got into a fight with somebody named Nicholas. Mm. Uh hey, he knew Taekwondo. Tai shit. Yeah. How did how did how that whole went? It was a tie. Tie. Yeah. You did better than the first time. <laughs> you yeah, man. You did that's progress. As long as you making progress, it cool, girl. Mm. Oh, you just gotta make progress with this shit. Yeah. 
Mm. I lost a fight before. How was it? Hmm? How was the fight you lost? Just fucking with older people. I used to try to fight older people older than me every time. Every time I fought, it wasn't nobody younger than me or the same age. It was always like older and bigger. Mm -hmm. Every time. And I was fucking with him. I was really trying to show out for What do you girl. feel like the best thing to do in life after you already did it? Huh? Best thing to do in life after you've already did it? Yeah. Alright, I got God. a better question. I got a better question. I thank God. But I know what you're saying. Uh, favorite car mind. to drive. I, I ain't mind go places like that. Hmm? Favorite car to drive. Oh, uh, Rose Royce. Favorite album you did. Huh? Favorite album you did. Favorite song you did. Favorite album I did. Uh, oh, uh, um. no, it's not. Oh, Cottonwood too. Mm. Yeah, that's not real. Favorite song I did mm. that I released? Mm -hmm. Walking down. What was you walking down? Boy, I got pee so bad, boy. I know y'all see me. Yo. All right, look, before we leave, I got a question and I want you just to argue. Yeah, I'm yeah. done. We I'm having fun. Look, look, question. Huh? Which movie you feel like has been seen more by the culture? Players Club or Baby Boy? Baby Boy. And why you picked that? Because. That's the one that stood out to me. Baby boy, for sure, right? For sure. Yeah. What do you think? Some she said Players Club. Name four is Baby Boy on the way. Players Club. But that still don't mean that 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 that's why. That's probably why though. We I see. Think it. Rock, paper, scissors, you me on my but it's just overall, Baby Boy is more of a ironic, the college the movie. And everybody can relate to Baby Boy. Yeah. Everybody. Because he still stay with his baby mama. Who? I relate to Flint's because I just came to the Who? <laughs> Who what? Who stay with that baby mama? I mean, there's only one of us up here. <laughs> Two of us. I know I don't. <laughs> shit, I don't eat this shit. I mean. So you stay with your baby mama? I got put out. Where you went after that? Nigga, to the other one. Yeah. <laughs> Guess what she the did? Just threw up. I don't know, nigga. <laughs> what she do? Ooh. She put me out because she found out why I was there. Damn. Oh, Guess what oh, I want to go do? Damn what? Stay with her mama. Oh, you got a deep in your I'm him. <laughs> <laughs> you is, girl. You him. We did that hoe yeah. for real. So I feel like if it was a bum nigga award, I gotta be first place. Oh. Um, what about you? Would you be second? I'd be far from first. I ain't gonna lie. I'd probably be last. Why? If it was a bum nigga award? Yeah. No, I hell no, I could win that Why not? Jacob. Would you think you better than us or some shit? No, nah, I just know I'm not a bum nigga. I'm why not? What's wrong with him? What's wrong with the bum nigga? Yeah. Nothing shit. He, he ain't gotta pay rent. I'm just saying, well, why you feel like you couldn't be in line with us? With what? Bum the niggas. The bum niggas? Yeah. I don't know, cause I just feel I'm not a bum nigga. I'm just, what's wrong with him now? There's nothing wrong with him. But why could you be over here? Because I'm not a, I'm not him. I'm it's not, easy if you want to join us. I'm okay. I think I'm I'm good like where I'm at right now. Where I think I like it. Right. Huh? Where you at right now? The opposite of that. Hmm. For sure. It's not much that you got to do. You just got to like lay back on a lot of shit that you're doing good on. Start become bad at it. <laughs> it's bad as hell, cuz. It's, so, do it it's so bad. It sounds like it's not bad, though, but it's so bad. Mm -hmm. Would I do it? Mm -hmm. Hell no, I wouldn't do it. You're very mature for your age. Am I? Yeah. For sure? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be trying to be. I feel like I feel like what you go through in life shape you as a man before age. Mm -hmm. What age do you feel like, oh, like you should stop breastfeeding a woman? Like a child? Yeah. Probably like around like like two. I was nine getting breastfeed. <laughs> what about, for real? Yeah. No. I don't even know why I'm listening to you at this point. Why? Cause you you got something against us? Who's us? Me and my mama. <laughs> I just think you know, your mama probably just kind of like a little bit like out of the norm of what to go on. I ain't got no problem. She want to, she kind of ain't produce milk. Why are you nine years old? Trust me, I was there. Trust you.
Show me pictures. <laughs> <laughs> got a video of this shit? Nah. See this joint. <laughs> That's crazy. I start laughing when I was reminiscing. <laughs> Girl, that never happened, cuz. Stop lying to yourself. That never happened to you. What you got coming out that the real need to know about? Um, uh, music for sure. More music. Yeah. I got a movie on the way on me, yeah. Another one of them joints. Where's that gonna be at? Shit. Oh, some of them might be in theaters and some of them might be on like other um the screaming platforms mm -hmm. and shit. Oh god. Mm -hmm. Doing my big one on that one. Yeah, the biggest, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's the one you Don't drag the EST. Biggest. Yeah, that was a little bit too much. It was like it was like kind of just like um, Yeah, it's just too much. Yeah. I should have just said you're doing a big one. Yeah, you support them. You support yeah. that nigga though, so I appreciate it, but yeah. it's so like I think So it's okay. To say that I'm the biggest? No, you're doing your biggest. Yeah, 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 yeah I'm yeah. doing my biggest. It's okay, but the way you said it. Was Some like, shit you shouldn't be saying. No, like you can say it, but it's mm -hmm. just like how you say it. Yeah. I said, I'm doing my big when you said the biggest. Yeah. It was almost like, you could have been like. Through the bottom. Yeah, you are doing your big one, bro. Yeah. Like, salute. Some shit like that. Maybe it's me. No, maybe it's me though, because why am I telling you how you should compliment what I just said? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Why we gotta change the reality of it, of what was natural to you? Just like mm -hmm. okay. when the last time you was musty. When I used to wear them shoes like that. It's been a while. It was a long <laughs> <head> time. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, it, it, sometimes you, I feel like you gotta do it to just see who fuck with you. Do what? Just be musty. Sometimes see who fuck with you. Just see who gonna tell you you musty. Yeah. Okay. I ain't gonna lie though, cause I do on me, I do have my day though, bro. I be asking like, damn, ain't nobody got no deodorant right now. Mm -hmm. Cause you get so busy, deodorant. Yeah, I might just, just walk out, slip, but I don't never be musty. I I be wanting to put deodorant on before I get musty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never cause I'm musty. But it's crazy how you get musty, just like how does that happen? I don't know, it's just a detox. It's just what you it's really yeah, about crazy. what you eat on yeah. the real. Me, I know you're big on that. You know how to eat. So yeah. I, don't, I don't really smell like just mm -hmm. like a poodle or nothing. But mm -hmm. if I'm if I'm musty, I might be a little little, little tart. Yeah. Or like uh, us, like I guess someone's coming. Huh? I'm saying I've been like a, like it's almost coming. Like the must is almost there. Like it's knocking. Like like you like yeah. When the jump, you play that jump. Yeah, like, and it's like damn, it's on the way. Down the street from it, type yeah. shit. Like the mud's right down the street. <laughs> about a minute away. I yeah, just had to make sure. Oh, you know. Yeah. Shit. Make sure. The best way to check if you musty, this is does you know, you just got a bob and you'd be like. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Was it like? Yeah. Oh, I like, okay, yeah. okay. Nah. I like this sauce. You a musty nigga if you know all this shit. Yeah. I give me the musty nigga sauce. I ain't gonna count. Yeah. It. It's like four ways you can figure out without nobody else knowing. Sometimes, like, I don't have these instances where I had to and go to the restroom. Like, shit, what time is it? That's another one. Nah, that one, nah, I catch that one. I no, no, no. You just be like, what time is it? Yeah, you do that. No, nah, I would have caught that one. Right? No, nah, not when you just, like, I'm saying, when you were a girl, she's not really paying attention. You was like, damn, it's time. It's getting a little late. Yeah. Right, so how you check if your ass like? Uh, usually, you just know it. So shit. You just like, damn, I'm like, you know it. You know that shit. But, like I said, I just don't like to depend on shit, so I really don't really care for soap. I'm an independent nigga, and I stand on that. Yeah. I got to agree to disagree. I don't know. I'm independent, but I, I feel like I still got to touch the water with You ain't independent if this you one. need something. You're mm -hmm. not I-N-P-D-E-N-T, if you know what that means. Own house, own car. You're not that. Good well, bro, I want y'all to know we actually just had a lot of debates. And I want y'all in the comments to tell y'all. Hey, like, B, are you trying to pull your shit, though? Who? Your hair. 
No, nah, I actually just I just let it bob out. For real? Yeah. It was like I was pushing my hairline back. I started growing it. There's mm. no my forehead ain't that big, is it? They're on the four and a half head. Ain't a five head, head yeah. All my hands fit. Wait, wait, wait. That whole is a five head. Yeah. He got five head for him. My fault for him. But shit. It was nice talking to you, Nelly. <laughs> Just so random, girl. <laughs> I thought we would pass that joint right there. Oh no, how's it in St. Louis? <laughs> I'm from Memphis. Guys, I want you to give a round of applause. Oh fuck. I want you to give a round of applause in the comments for L. In that Lee Chopper. Yeah. Why you keep putting the ER on the end? This is like calling me a nigger. <laughs> what? You said in Lee Chopper. Yeah. You run you on some racist shit. All right. Nigga, nigga. Like, chop out, chop her. It's the same shit. Is your son asleep? Where he at? Yeah, he's, he's back there. He's asleep for sure. All right, before we leave, what is your favorite interview to none? Like, when you went and really learned, besides this, but what is one? Before we leave, what is the interview? It's like, I really like that. You know, like, that you did up and coming. An uh, interview? Yeah. You did the Breakfast Club? <laughs> it was the one that you just loved, or? Hell no. I love this one, though. Yeah. Fucked all the mother joints. I like this interview. Fuck oh, you talking about. Straight cat. Uh, thank oh, you guys God. for tuning in. Nah, you heard me? <laughs> <laughs> Thought you I, just said it in your head. Yeah. Stupid ass. Okay. Uh, <laughs> make sure you guys get the new album that's coming out in the new movie. Give him the date. I ain't got one. Oh, Jimmy shit. Roller coaster, man. Yes, she did. Go on. You on Prospect? Go. Huh? You on Prospect? Mm -mm. What the deal? Where you get to pick players more than less? Mm -hmm. You can win some money. It's betting and shit. Nah, I ain't betting. Mm -hmm. It's prizes. Just give me fifteen hundred, and then I can turn that in. And we can walk away with three hundred k. What's the thing? I'm a duck, huh? You might well ask me to do cash out flips. I ain't never heard of that. You know what that is? Mm. You might well ask for my boa. Mm. And tell me that you finna take this and make me this, and really put my shit in the negative. I was that close to getting it. You thought I got an orange feet? And a yellow beat. You been to jail before? How you know all these quotes? What you thought? What you mean? What you mean? Have I been to jail before? How I know they? I've been to jail before, but what the fuck they gotta do? With what I'm saying? Cause you get to learn new shit when you go in there. Like what? Quotes. Bah. What else? What else you think you learn in jail? <laughs> mm. I'm so curious. What your mind finna tell you to speak out your mouth with this one? What else are we supposed to learn in jail? Really be independent. Wash your own shit. Don't let nobody wash your clothes. Mm -hmm. Heard about that. Because mm -hmm. I was like, if I went to jail, I'm like, why wouldn't you want somebody washing? My cousin like, no, 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 the fuck you don't. Mm -hmm. I don't know take that. nothing from nobody. Yeah. No, 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 none of that. Because everything you take, everything you yep. take. Yeah, hey, you guys, you make sure you <laughs> tune in to just watch out for his new projects. There you, you go. go. Yeah, like I said, make sure round of applause for NLE Chopper. Make some noise. Bro, I got a piece so bad for you. Uh oh, he got a piece, so we about to keep on going. And if you walk off on me, that's going to show who you really are. Yeah, you right. I had to pee on myself before I walk off on you, boo. I fuck Let's with you. Let's get it out.